All right, here's my uh, steaks from Agridime I got. I got this uh, ribeye. I got a New York loin steak, and I got these two shoulder steaks. I'm going to cook these things up. I got the subscription, so I got a bunch of different cuts. So we're going to cook these three up on the grill, and, and we'll see how they turn out. All right, they look nice. They thaw it out, and they have a nice color to them. Look at that marble the shoulder steak there. I'm not sure about that one. All right, first I'm going to beat them up with the tenderizer a little bit. Flip them over, beat up the other side. Then I put on a little bit of olive oil, and then I sprinkle some uh, salt and pepper on each side. And after that, we're going to head out to the grill. I turn the grill up to uh, high heat, preheated pretty hot. And then I, uh, I toss them on the grill. When I toss them on the grill, I slide them around a little bit, um, back and forth, and get them... So they kind of uh, grease up that little area where I put them on. That's why I like the grill steak. That's that shoulder one. Um, also got a burger going on there, a frozen Costco burger. Because you know me, love a little extra meat. So I'm going to let those cook for a little bit here. I'm going to sear both sides. And then I'm going to move them uh, to the warming rack up top. And we're going to slow roast them up there. And so we get an internal temperature of uh, 135 is what I like to shoot for. Oh, yeah, look at them. Seared nicely. Got that burger. Oh, yeah. Might as well throw in a couple pieces of thick cut bacon. Got that from Wild Fork. Heck yeah. And then we're going to bring them in, cut them up, see what they look like. Look how gorgeous those are. They turned out really good. They were delicious. The uh, shoulder steak was a little tough. Maybe I should learn how to cook that one a little differently. But the other two, tremendous. Loved them.